Today is a first alert weather day. We're tracking two things. One, of course, is this lake effect snowfall ban. This will be the main story for the driver of this first alert weather day on this Friday morning. But we are dealing with area wide snow covered roads uh, once again for the Friday morning commute. If you remember yesterday's morning commute, well, we're going to do that commute all over again for today. We had area wide one to three inches of light snow that had fallen yesterday. Roadways went slushy and or wet and those have frozen on up overnight and combine that with some fresh powder. That's the reason for these added slick spots and snow covered roadways on the roads. Let's take a look at MDOT on the plow camera M62 up into Cassopolis and Niles there again dealing with some snow covered roadways and also on the US 20 bypass and near Jamestown uh, looking at those snow covered roads as well. Now let's transition over to some lake effect snow that we have to talk about a lake effect snowfall band. That's going to be the main story for today. Here's a look at I 94 in Michigan City. If you could just see how slow the traffic is going here by all these taillights and also you can just tell how much snow is already on I 94 up into Michigan city. Uh, your patience is going to need to uh, be needed today. If you're traveling from Berrien County and I 94 towards Chicago or I 80 from South Bend to Chicago, it's going to be slow going underneath this 20 mile stretch here of this intense lake effect snowfall band, which is just west of Laporte right now impacting uh, Michigan City at the moment. And that's the reason for that very low visibility right now across the city of Michigan City. Underneath of this band, we're going to be looking at two, maybe three inches per hour, and it's only going to be about a 20 20 mile stretch of this lake effect snowfall band. So even though it may be clear in the South Bend, if you're driving westward towards Chicago on I 80, well, you're going to encounter that lake effect snowfall band for about a 10 or 20 mile radius where it's going to be white knuckle driving and near zero visibility. Now later on today, I do expect that this lake effect snowfall band that is west of 31 will begin to move its way back eastward, and I think this could impact the US 31 corridor. We're talking South Bend as early as the late afternoon and evening commute, uh, potentially right as the kiddos are trying to head off the bus uh, later on today. Uh, that is something that we're going to keep our close eye on and first to alert uh, weather radar and into future track here as we go throughout this Friday on again underneath of this lake effect snowfall band. If you do find yourself underneath of that lake band, we are going to see again very poor visibility and snowfall totals that will quickly add up. Heading on into Saturday, we're going to continue with some of this lake effect snowfall, not as intense, but some scattered lake effect snow showers will linger through the first half of the weekend, and then we finally see things going quiet as we head into Sunday. Have not adjusted our snowfall map. You notice that dark blue and red. That's where we're going to be looking for a half foot or more of snowfall underneath of this lake effect snowfall band. Not everyone in these color shaded areas will pick up this much snowfall. It all depends on where that lake effect snow band decides to sit on up and stay up. Greatest potential for over half a foot west of US 31. First alert 10 day. We finally catch a break on Sunday. Notice that sunny icon there will be a chilly day, but hey, we'll take the sunshine and at least the quieter weather to close out the weekend. And then our first alert weather team is watching rain and snow late Monday into Tuesday. Potential for maybe a little bit of freezing rain mixing in on that one. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes peeled as we head into the start of next week. Seeing comments on social media, Linda saying Valpo streets are just horrible, which makes sense where we're seeing right, the snow yeah. ban. Michigan right City, there. they're also saying is really bad. In addition to that, people are really stressing the bypass. They're seeing slide offs on there. So if you can avoid it this morning, especially towards those Elkhart exits. So we really are seeing this all over Michigan, at least slick road conditions, maybe not the lake effect snow. Right, and I think once we get into about the noon hour in the afternoon, if you're away from that lake effect snow ban, you'll see most main roads yeah. you know, improving, just yeah. wet or slushy. But as that lake effect snow band begins to work its way closer to US 31, we're going to see those impacts moving west to east uh, yeah. throughout the afternoon. And again, hats off to the crews uh, that are working yes. to try to keep up with this. I How mean, can this you can't, is right? You, you can't. Can. So Two to three tricky. inches per hour, the plows just yeah, can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. It, no. is, yeah. it is tricky for sure. Take it easy out there. Do yeah. check the bottom of your screen and our website for those school delays and closings. We'll be right back.